Okay, team, here's what's been happening on Ghost Rider. The facts. First, there's trouble in the Fort Greene Community Garden, a cool place that grows flowers and food, and where a lot of people hang out. See, Gabby was working there one day, and all of a sudden, she fainted. And lots of other people who hang out there got sick, too. So the team figured out there was something dangerous going on in the garden. And with Ghost Rider's help, they discovered something really creepy, hidden barrels with poison in them. Now, here are some new facts from the last show. First, the team is trying to find out all they can about the dangerous barrels, like what's inside them. Tetrachloroethylene, also known as PERC, is a chemical used for dry cleaning and for cleaning metal and machinery. Perk can cause dizziness, fainting spells, or an irregular heartbeat, leading to sudden death. Oh, no. They also found out the barrels were dumped there illegally. As you offer these chemicals and serve their useful purpose, they're really dangerous to people. There are some that can be cleaned up and used again for something good. Like recycling. Exactly, but that costs money, and some people would rather dump than pay. And the team wants those barrels out pronto, but getting rid of them will take a long time. How long will that take? Well, I'd say about six months. What? Six what? months? The only way to speed things up is to find out who dumped the barrels in the first place. Let's start our own investigation. I bet we can find the sucker who buried those barrels. So, the team found out the barrels were sold to a dry cleaners called French Garment Cleaners. That's right near the garden. Momo works at the French Garment Cleaners. And he told them the used barrels of perk are taken away by a private hauling company. And it's that company's job to get rid of them in a safe way. Do you know the name of the private hauler? No, I know I don't. Look, I gotta go. It looks like the team is onto something important. But then a spooky thing happens. Hello? Can the team find out who's poisoning the garden? And what's gonna happen next? Get a pencil in your casebook out and keep track of the clues, because the Ghostwriter team is on the case. Hello? If you want more information on who dumped those barrels, you may have them for in 10 minutes. Who is this? Just be there. What's wrong? Who was that on the phone? I don't know. He didn't say. And I could hardly hear him. But he wants to give me information about the barrels. How? When? I've got to meet him at Clinton and Forth in 10 minutes. Why didn't he tell you his name? He could be the same person who dumped the barrels and is trying to set you up. I wouldn't go if I were you. But what if he's for real? If he does have information that can help us, it's worth the risk. I have to go. Then we've got to have a backup plan. What if I went with you and Alex, Gabby, and Jamal hid nearby? Ready to call for help if we needed it. Yeah, that might work. Okay, so let's go. He said 10 minutes. See anybody? No. Maybe he won't show. We'll give him a couple more minutes. What if Alex was right? What if this is a setup? <gasps> Momo, you scared me. You're the one who called? Yeah. Why were you whispering? I didn't want my boss to hear me. Look, I can only talk for a minute. I'm out on the delivery. Well, what did you want to tell us? My little sister got sick, too, last weekend. Nobody knew why, so I got curious and called home. Found out she'd been playing in that garden. Does that mean you're willing to tell us who hauls the perk for French garment cleaners? More than willing. But I don't know who. Then... But I can find out. How? I figure there has to be more information in my boss's office. I can check it out tomorrow. He's going out in the afternoon. Come by around 3.30. I gotta go. Thanks, Momo. Thank me tomorrow. Yes, all, all right. right. Hello, Lenny. You look so nice. Oh, thank you. I'm so excited about hearing your father play tonight. Yeah, well, he's really good. The whole band is. Wait till you see the guy who plays the keyboard. He's really cute. Peter, 
blonde hair. You know, this was just sort of a last-minute idea. I hope that you don't mind. Mind? No, of course not. I mean, it's like a tryout, I guess. You know, for when we get the garden cleaned up. The concerts? Sure. So, what are you all excited about? Have you had a break in the case? Well, remember when I told you that we traced the barrels back to EcoSafe Chemicals Company? Yes. Well, EcoSafe sold the barrels to French garment cleaners right here in the neighborhood. And tomorrow, we're going to find out who hauls French garments use chemicals. Good going. Maybe the haulers are the ones that dump the chemicals in the garden. Well, that's what we thought. You kids are terrific detectives. Meanwhile, I've been trying to put pressure on the Environment Protection Division to see if they can remove those barrels faster. Did you get our city council representative to call them? Yes, but they gave her the same old line they give everyone. They said that there are other toxic waste sites that are more dangerous than ours. We'll just have to wait our turn. What do we do now? Pressure them in other ways. There's a city agency that helps community gardens, and I'm going to call them tomorrow. Hey, Larry. Lenny's home at last. Now, Bips. Dad's famous meatloaf and a baked potato in the oven, salad in the fridge, and we got to split and get ourselves to the club. So Mrs. Fernandez knows that you're home. If you need anything, she's right, right downstairs, downstairs, and she'll check in on you later. See you later, Lenny. Bye. Come on, Ronald. We gotta get to French garment cleaners. <sighs> These old things. You know, Mom and Dad bought you guys for me when I was only two. And as for you, <laughs> Bernie the Bear, meet Melvin the Duck. Old duck Melvin, it's a bear. I saved you guys from the trash bin, so you owe me. One thing about being stuffed, you don't have to worry about perk, do you? Mom? Just a minute. Come on, man, I've been waiting for you. Sorry. Let's go. So who are you talking to about Perk? Ghostwriter? Oh, you know you have to write to him. Who then? Never mind. Who? Never mind. I hope Momo was able to get us the name of that hauler. Are you okay? I'm fine, okay? Look. And that's not the worst of it. Hey, get out of there. It's dangerous. Don't eat that. It'll make you sick. Yeah, didn't you read the sign? Yeah, I read the sign. But the vegetables are poisoned. Look, I'm hungry. Hey, miss, we have a store. Come with us. We'll get you some good food. Yeah. But what are we going to do about this hole in the fence? When we get home, we can call the EPD and ask them to patch it up. I better get over to French garment cleaners. Yeah, I'll go with you. Did you get the information? No. My boss locked up the office and took the key with him. Oh, no. I tried to get in there. I'm sorry I brought you guys down for nothing. You tried. Look, I gotta get that. I'm the only one here. I'll let you know if I find out something. Thanks, ma'am. No sweat. That was a total washout. Now what do we do? Okay. We know that French garment cleaners uses a hauler to take away its perk. Now we just have to find out the name of that hauler. And we can't get into Momo's boss's office to find out. Ghost Rider! Who is the hauler for French 
garment cleaners. Trash Hauling Company, Miller's Hauling Company, Barry's Haulers. Three haulers? Which one dumped the barrels of perk? I thought we were getting somewhere. But now we have three new suspects. So how do we narrow it down? Maybe we didn't give Ghost Rider enough information. We need to give him more help. What other words should he look for besides hauler? Hmm. Those barrels have perk in them. And that's toxic waste, right? A lot of haulers won't touch that stuff. So let's ask Ghost Rider to look for toxic waste and haul it together. Yeah, the cleaners must have kept records of who took their toxic waste. Maybe they wrote down that word tetra... Chloroethylene. Or perk. That's the short way to say it. Got it. Ask them to look for the word barrel, too. Anything else? Let's see how we do with what we have so far. Okay. Do your thing, Ghost Rider. Look, the case book. It's Miller's Hauling Company. June 7th, 1988. French garment cleaners, 12 barrels perk. We've got the name of the hauler. Miller's Hauling Company's the one who took away French garment cleaners perk. We've got you now. <laughs> yeah, I want to go check this out. I'll go with you. Why don't we all go? Don't you think it'll look a little suspicious if all four of us show up? Alex and I can say we're from the school paper or something, doing an article on neighborhood companies. Alex and you? Come on, man. Here, take this just in case you find any clues. It was funny, really. The company sent Colin over so that he could learn about America. But since he spent most of his time stuck in the office, it was the kids and I who discovered America. <laughs> How old are you kids? Um, Simon's 13 and Elizabeth's 11. And why don't you live with them? Well, they wanted to stay, but um, Colin insisted. They are British and he wanted them to go home for the school year. They're coming over for a month this summer. And we'll see. You must miss him. Dreadfully. I wish divorce wasn't so hard on the children. Can't wait to meet him. Hi, Dad. Lenny, yay! Hey, Lenny. Oh. What's going on? I am making you and Sally my world-famous cinnamon apple waffle. <laughs> it's kind of your father to cook. I feel absolutely lost Hi, in the kitchen. You feel lost in the kitchen. Why are we having waffles for dinner? The waffles are for breakfast. What's the problem? We have breakfast food for dinner all the time. It doesn't mean I want it today. Well, excuse me. You don't have to eat them. Fine, I'll just start. Lenny! Honey, you're being rude. Um, look, maybe I just better come back another what? time. No, 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 no. Lenny, I think you should apologize to Sally. What for? I didn't do no, it. No, it's all right, Max, really. No. Lenny? I'm sorry. Thank you. I'm going to do my homework. What about dinner? I'm not hungry. You just said that you'd start. Huh. Something tells me we've hit it on a dead end. Yeah, anybody that gives that much money to youth groups can't be bad. I'd better make a note of this. Look, I don't have time for your delays and excuses. Officer Cole is already checking into this. I told you, the shredder will be here Saturday. I don't care how you get the papers. Just get them to me on Saturday.
I'm sorry. I hope I didn't frighten you. Are you here for the award? Award? Yeah, for my contribution to the children's home. You know, the article they're doing on me in the sun. They're supposed to send over a bunch of you kids so that we could have our pictures taken together. Yep, that's us, all right. We're kids, no doubt about it. Yeah, well, where are the rest of them? There's supposed to be a whole big bunch. Well, I guess we came first. Yeah, I hope we didn't interrupt your phone call. Ah, I've had, I've just a little problem with the business associate. Well, uh, business looks pretty good, Mr. Miller. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, to me, the kids are the future. That's why I like to give so generously to so many organizations. You know, they're giving me an award on Sunday. Yeah, with the uh, Hurston School. Yeah, the community there, they, uh, they voted me Citizen of the Year. Do you do here, Mr. Miller? Eh, uh, kids. This is what's known as a transfer station. After the garbage is picked up, it's brought here to be sorted and recycled. Anything that can't be recycled is sent to a landfill. Landfill? What's that? Well, a landfill is where garbage is buried. What about things that are too dangerous to be buried? Like, uh, chemicals and stuff? Why do you ask that? Oh! Look, the others have arrived. Well, thanks a lot, Mr. Miller. You've been a great help, a real inspiration. Oh, uh, inspiration? Wait a minute. What about the uh, photo? Uh, aren't you waiting here for the uh, photo opportunity? Oh, uh, we just remember we're camera shy. Let's go. Okay. on the phone? Officer Cole's already looking into it. He must be talking about the barrels in the garden. And he sounded panicky, too, like he was afraid of getting found out. But what was he talking about? There's shredders coming on Saturday and something about papers. I've read about shredders in spy books and things. They're really cool machines that rip a paper into a zillion pieces so you can't read what's on it. It's a great way to destroy evidence. So maybe the papers Miller was talking about are evidence. They might show that he dumped the barrels in our garden. And now he's trying to shred that evidence. If we could get a hold of those papers before he does, we could prove he's guilty. So we gotta find out what papers he's gonna shred. And what time and where. Miller might have written down some of that information somewhere. Let's see if Ghost Rider can find it. Please look for a shredder and a time or place. Do you think Miller is as bad as we think he is? I mean, he was nice to us. He doesn't have to be all bad just to do something wrong. This is clear. Ah, oh, this looks gross. It smells even worse. This one's easy for Ghost Rider. He doesn't have a nose. Hey, there's Mobile Shredding Corporation. Yeah, but what does the rest say? I can't figure it out. It's all gunked up with ketchup and grease and stuff. Come on, let's get out of here before somebody sees us. Now we can take another look. Let's see if this note will tell us what Miller's going to shred. And when. 
Jamal's dad has pads just like these. In his office, they say from the desk of Reginald Jenkins. So this must say from the desk of John Miller. Miller was probably making notes to himself. Mm. This says Mobile Shredding Corp at 12 p.m. Saturday. Great. We found out when and where. Now we have to find out what he's going to shred. A blow up of $1 check for children's home foe something. A blow up of a check. We saw that outside of Miller's office, remember? He gave the children's home $1,000. So $1 must be $1,000. And these words must be photo session. Well, he's not going to shred that. Keep going. There's something else. Get French garment invoice. This must be invoices. You know, an invoice is like a bill. It shows the price you have to pay for something. We get them in the store all the time. So the invoices must show the price French garment paid to have Miller haul their perk. That's what Miller's planning to shred. We've got it all. These invoices are proof that Miller hauled French garments perk, and that's why he wants to shred them. Hey, Alex, Miller was yelling at someone to get him the papers by Saturday. Do you think he's planning to steal French garments invoices? I wouldn't put it past them. We've got to get those invoices before Miller does. Got your appetite back, huh? Yeah. Well, wow, it must be morning already, because I know you don't like breakfast food for dinner. Very funny. Lenny. I'm trying to understand what's the matter. Talk to me. Has it got anything to do with Sally? I thought you liked her. I do like her. I like her a lot. I like her, too. No. Now, I know I haven't gone out with anybody since your mom died. Maybe it's difficult picturing your old man with somebody else, huh? I don't know. I mean, Sally's real nice, but... Yeah? But I what? don't... I don't know, okay? Lynn, for years after your mom died, I couldn't even think of seeing anybody else. I thought it was being disloyal to your mom, you know what I mean? Sort of. I guess I was afraid that starting a new relationship meant forgetting your mom, and I didn't want to do that. Yeah. I never want to forget mom. And I guess I don't want you to forget her either. Yeah, well, that's just the thing, Lenny. I've begun to realize that a new relationship doesn't have to mean forgetting the old. And whatever happens with Sally or anybody else that I might meet, your mom is still every bit as special to me as she was when she was alive. Does that make any sense to you? I guess. And you are the most special thing of all in my life. And you always will be. I have an idea. What are you doing? Dry cereal? That's no dinner for a growing girl. How about... Waffles! Yes! <laughs> hey, Mama, we need to talk to you. No time. Boss is in a bad mood. Somebody broke in here last night. Broke in? What did they steal? Nothing. Isn't that weird? All they did was trash the boss's office. There were papers and invoices all over the floor. Invoices? Listen, we've been trying to figure out this case. And we think we know the guy who trashed your boss's office. 
Hey. The same guy that dumped the barrels in our garden. So? So would he talk to us? Maybe he could help us catch this guy Miller. The kids would be cartooning. Well, we can help him. Look, come back when you've got some help. Somebody who doesn't go to the movies on a child's ticket. What are we going to do, Alex? Without those invoices, there's no way to prove Miller hauled the perk and dumped it in our garden. We've got to figure out some way to stop him from turning those invoices tomorrow. I know.